Zaya isn't neither good or bad. He's just a man who does whatever to suit his needs. He sees everyone as a chess piece and all the part of this plan. What plan you might want to ask? Well, I'm not going to spoil it. Zaya is an information broker, which he stays well informed about all that's going on in Ikebukuro. He can easily make you suffer for the rest of your life with only a phone call and you won't be able to stop him. He is a troll. The fandom has given the nickname Troll Zaya and I could not agree more. And the thing that that with this series that I like so much is how like every character in a way is connected to the story. You can bet your ass that Zaya is involved. He's always involved. That's no question. He manipulates people to further his goals and doesn't care. I, and when I say he doesn't care, I mean he's not heartless. I don't mean that he's heartless. Because he does show like certain times in the story and throughout the series that he does care. But that's that's rare and it doesn't happen too often. But ultimately he just fucks with people because he can. He's actually my favorite character from the series because he's always causing trouble no matter what. It's just like so fun and like interesting to see what he's going to do to someone. I care about the other characters too, don't get me wrong, but then I use Ayahara, the manipulative bastard himself. That's why I always call him, and that's what I will always continue to call him. And I love, like, da 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 is one of those series that I, like, just, like, really got fascinated by because, like I said, look at how characters are connected and Isaiah's place in the story, while it seems insignificant, is actually really really important to like the overall scope because like i said he has a plan i'm not going to reveal what that plan is but he has a plan and when it happens it's like okay well it makes a lot of sense why he was doing what he was doing again he's an information broker he knows everything he knows what's going on in the city he knows what's going on in town that's just the nature of this character he doesn't have to be an asshole or a bastard about it but fuck it that's just how he is and ultimately you know there's not too many people that like i said can stop him once he has a goal set in mind, or has a plan of some sort, he's going to initiate it, and if you get in his way, well, he'll deal with you accordingly. Whether that be personally or by someone else's hand, because he manipulated that person. <laughs> by all means, I really do advise people to either watch, da 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 da, or even read it. I probably would say read it since it was a light novel first, and you probably would get a lot more out of it than maybe the anime, although the well, personally, I watched the anime and I really love it, so it all depends how you want to want to go about it. There's at least, I think, I believe there's two seasons or three seasons or da da da. I have to really check and verify that again. I'll verify, I'll verify that in another video, and you know, that's pretty much all I could say. I could recommend it, and I definitely do recommend that you watch it. It's a great story, great writing, um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to really say on everything though. So, this was character interpretations. Thanks for watching. You'll see the next video up probably today. If I don't get, if I don't have all these videos up by today, and there, and then I failed, but I'll at least upload them by tomorrow if I didn't do it. So yeah, catch you guys later. <laughs>